state of Louisiana have just declared war against us. It's time for humans to bite back. We turn the world against us. There's no one left to protect us now. Last year, she was imprisoned and hadn't seen her maker, hadn't seen Eric in a while, doesn't know if he's alive. And she's rescued by her progeny. They have this very romantic kiss. And then she sees that Eric is fine. And then we have to try to get out of the authority. And that's, we're gonna start right back at that point, as people have seen from the trailers, it proves to be a bit of a challenge to get out of there. And then, not just that, but vampires have now openly, on video, been seen massacring people. You know, I think Dennis O'Hara went to someone's bridal shower and ate the bridesmaids or something. So, you know, the humans are fighting back. We have to talk about Pam and Tara now that they've become romantically involved. Yes. I mean, how complicated is that going to get because she, Pam is Tara's maker, so it's not a normal relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, with, there's lots of joking on the set because I call Alex daddy, and then Anna said, that's really creepy because you guys had sex. And we're like, yeah, but that was 100 years ago. It was so long ago, you know. <laughs> These relationships are very complex. So as an actor, it's fun because for a season I tried to kill Rutina and Tara, and then she became my progeny begrudgingly. I started to have a bit of respect for her, and then I realized she's hot. <laughs> And all of those layers continue under the circumstances that we find ourselves in in season six. And that's what's fun about True Blood for me because all the, every season we get a new layer to Pam and we don't abandon the previous layers. It's just like any relationship as you get to know somebody, all those remain, but you find out something new. And that's what happens in six because we're under different circumstances. Pam is kind of guarded, other than with like Eric. She, yes. She's definitely a tough lady, I guess. I yes, guess. yes. So is she gonna butt heads with any of the newer characters? I know there's a whole bunch of new people coming in this season. She's definitely a headbutter. Um, I thought that was very sweet. You said kind of, <laughs> you know? She's kind of tough. Yeah, she's really tough. She has a guilty until proven innocent viewpoint. Pam wants things more status quo and that she wants to be dressed beautifully every day and go to Fantasia and have, she's like me in that way. We don't like change. Right. So of course the writers just keep throwing change in new people. She doesn't want new people. Speaking of being dressed, I mean, Pam's fashion is some of the, the best on this show. Is there anything really exciting that's coming up for her with her looks? Well, there's one outfit that's terribly exceptional this year. And every year, you know, they come up with something that we didn't think was possible and would work. So we have that again this year. And uh, I love every wardrobe fitting. I, I have one later today and I'm so excited for the end of the season because Audrey Fisher is just amazing. I don't have anything to do with that. She brings in a rack of materials I didn't know existed, you know, rubber and I, I don't know, things I, I, I can't even tell what they are and we put them all together and it'll be sometimes five fittings to get the whole thing together. We'll have a jewelry fitting, a hosiery fitting. It's amazing. No Walmart sweatsuits this season though. No Walmart sweatsuits, <laughs> such a bummer. I guess we have to move on, you know, but that was amazing. <laughs>